I'm Katie Noonan from Oakland High School's Environmental Science Academy and these are uh, the 11th grade Academy uh, students who are um, here with Earth Team um, helping to restore the same part of uh, the Redwood Forest that they visited last year. So this is a really special field trip for us because we get to see the ongoing process of um, creek and riparian area restoration. Um, our students uh, are expressing their conservation ethic, which they've been developing um, throughout high school with various uh, community service activities. And they're also learning some valuable um, information about uh, ecosystems and the redwood forest in particular, which they're going to be finding useful next year when they take AP environmental science. And you can see that they're having fun and they're helping to restore this area that has had so much human activity um, affect it over the last 200 years. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm a junior at Oakland High and I've done a lot of work with Earth Team, especially with Kevin. Um, what we do is pretty much we kind of emphasize the importance of the environment and one thing that I did was take what I've learned from the environment, like when I went on my Costa Rica trip, I used that knowledge and then I brought that back into the community here and I did presentations up at Earth Team on Coastal Cleanup Day and basically that focused on the importance of the environment and how it's important to have biodiversity and the impact of pollution within our communities and environments and I feel that this kind of ties in to what we're doing today here at Salsa Creek. We're planting native species, we're removing the invasive ones, and on the side we're picking up any trash that we find out here. So basically what we do here is we help um, restore and take out invasive plants and we came back this year this. to see what survived. Yeah. We don't want the invasive ones to take over because the redwoods, they're only here in California so we try to take care of them. Being a steward in a watershed is kind of, it's a very enlightening experience, um, very educational, and it's very hands-on. Like being able to actually grab the roots of invasive plants and remove them, and be able to plant native species back where they belong is very, it's very educational to know what is and what isn't native, and what should and what shouldn't be here. And then being able to do it in a team of your friends and colleagues and other students is a very pleasant experience. And if you like doing hands-on stuff, it's, it's one of the best things you can be doing. You're helping the environment, you're preserving um, a native species that only grows here in California, the redwoods, the seedlings. If we're making such a negative effect over the centuries, over the decades and over the years, then we should have a part in trying to at least try to accelerate or initiate um, its natural processes. This is a really happy day for us to be able to come back out and see what plants survived, what plants didn't, what invading plants are still here, um, all of these uh, factors that um, an ongoing restoration project has to consider. So this also helps our students to uh, think about uh, long term and about possible careers in environmental science or else just about being a, an involved citizen in our community taking care of our natural surroundings. Working with Earth Team was it was a very pleasant experience because at first I wasn't uh, particularly interested in getting down in the dirt but, after, but I feel like we're going to inherit this world after the other generation uh, passes on and if we don't make sure everything is going to be healthy and it's going to be good for our, our children and our children's children to use then it's not really going to make much sense for us to just sit around and let things rot away. So we're here doing something and last year when I was working with Earth Team I got a first-hand experience at how what we do here really has an effect because I'm here the next year and I'm like thinking what we had over there isn't there anymore and something better is here like how the trees cut down and the seedlings around them spread up and make an entire new circle of them. It never ends and as long as we keep doing what we're doing here the next year we're going to see more and more improvement.